Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're here for a beacon unboxing. Who's ready? This is the August box. If you guys haven't seen my Midnight Sun special edition box unboxing, I'm gonna highly recommend it. Uh, beacon Book Box puts out some serious special edition boxes. So the bar is high right now. So let's just get started. Uh, oh man, Be whoa, whoa, there's some big stuff in this box. Okay, the theme for August is Adventure Awaits August Alliteration. Oh, I love when that works out well. Um, look at what am I what am I looking at? There's so many big things in here. Thing is this sitting on top. Words have the power to change us, which is by Cassandra Clare. What is this? I feel like this is like a little passport holder thing, which would make sense with the theme, because you're going on adventure, except that nobody's going on adventure this year. We're all staying home. And it's sad. So this Yes, I do believe this is a little passport holder and look how cute this is. It looks kind of like leather and then the phrase is repeated on both sides. Uh, one day I'll be able to use this. When that will be, nobody knows at this rate. <laughs> so we've got that for when I go on an adventure. Um, this is what I am so excited over. I'm pretty sure this is a bento box. Oh my God, it is. Look at the little Ute. Look at this spork. Sporks make me like irrationally happy. We have a spork and we've got a little knife that go up here and then press there and press there. Oh, thank you. It gives me little tiny, you guys won't be able to see this. It gives me little tiny directions. And then we've got the actual, how do I, hold on, hold on. I don't want to spill anything. There, uh, there, whoa, whoa, it's got an ice pack in the lid. Okay. Ah, uh, that's pretty freaking cool. How do we, how do you, do you put the whole thing in the freezer or does this come out? I think you put the whole thing in. Do not microwave the gel container. Well, no, go figure. And this, I don't even look at what the, the like phantom is. What is this from? I thought it was Witcher, but now it's, now I'm second guessing. I just kind of combined all of the images in my brain. What is this? I mean, that's a dragon, right? That's a dragon, dragon and fire. That looks familiar to me, but I'm pretty sure that's just a magic symbol, like from Magic the Gathering. Um, Aragon inspired. Oh my god. I don't think I ever finished the Inheritance um, cycle, series, whatever it's called. I read the first one way back in the day. Like that was like early teen book days. But look how cool that is. That's freaking cool. It's got an ice pack in the lid. That's amazing. Also, I just saw the book. That's a great cover. We'll get to that in a second. Um, next, we've got this. I'm assuming this is going to be the ornament and it has May the Odds Be Ever in your favor on the little box. So I'm assuming this is the design as well. So this is one of many. Uh, we're getting these all year long and my Christmas tree is gonna be so beautiful. So these are glass etched ornaments and it just has the mocking jay and it says, may the odds be ever in your favor. Um, I'll leave it in so you guys can actually see it. I don't know why I struggle so hard to show you these every single month, but that's what it looks like. So we have that. We also have this. I'm guessing this is a tote bag, which is going to be so fitting to take my lunchbox with. What is this one? Oh, it has a pocket. I love pockets. Um, I think I'm quite ready for another adventure that's from Lord of the Rings and it has the little ring and the little leaf medallion i'll zoom in for a second um this is super cute it's just i like tote bags that are shaped like this i don't know why versus the like rectangle ones i feel like i can fit more things in it and i like ones that have pockets like extra pockets so that is what the little logo on the front looks like and now you guys can see what i'm talking about where it has like the ring and the little leaf medallion there and books and tea i love this i literally just had a lord of the rings marathon me and my husband decided to just binge all of the extended editions in one day and I regret nothing. I've done that every year since the movies came out because I saw them as a marathon in theaters on the night of Return of the King releasing. Best experience of my life. Uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. So I kind of replicate it at least once a year by watching all of the movies. Okay, there we go. You guys will be able to see that. Um, next we have, I believe this is just a necklace and it looks like the coin from Pirates of the Caribbean. 
Is that what that is? I'm pretty sure that is what that is. Am I right? Isn't that like the medallion, the coin thing from Pirates? I'm pretty sure it is. And we are down to, oh, there's stuff in the bottom of this box. Okay, well, we're down to the book. And I, was, I wasn't kidding about this cover. This is freaking beautiful. Set Fire to the Gods by Sarah Rosh and Kristen Simmons. Didn't know they were co-authoring a book. That's a duo and a half. Let's pop this out and read the synopsis. Okay, first off, just look at that cover. That's, that looks like a video game cover to me. I think that's why I like it so much. That looks amazing. Okay, let's see. We've got, oh, we've got, oh, 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 oh they drew. We've got a letter from both authors in here. That's amazing. And oh my God, the book is signed and it has the little stick figures like battling each other up here. Like one of them drew that. That's so cute. Okay, what is this about? Ash is descended from a long line of gladiators. Sold. Also, don't you just love when there's a map on the end pages? Maps are the best, am I right? Like, oh, I love it. So this is the world of the gods. Oh, that looks so cool. And again, with the little, little stick figures fighting and both of their signatures are here. That's awesome. Like props to uh, Beacon for accomplishing to get that. Okay, intrigued, super intrigued. So that is the book. And then we've got stuff in the bottom of the box. We've got, I'm thinking swaggy type things. Oh, we have a map of Narnia. That's cool. So we've got that. Where am I gonna, I'm out of room already. Dag nabbit, we'll put it here. Looks like we've got some swaggy things. Um, oh, this is a bookmark from Elise Kova. I've met Elise Kova so many times and she is such a freaking sweetheart. Um, this is for her newest series, The Vortex Chronicles. Ooh, and then it looks like we have two ebook downloads. So we have one for Magnablade, hardcover paperback and merch at magnablade.com. This looks like it's sci-fi. It's set in the year 2311. Um, and there are instructions on how to claim your ebook download on the back of this. And then we also have one for Elvort is included in your Beacon book box and it gives you a code and a website. This one also is giving me um, sci-fi vibes just from the cover of it. So we've got two extra eBooks included in this box, which is wonderful. That's technically three books in the box, sold. That is everything that came in the August Beacon Book Box. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, their website and my rep code will be down in the description. If you guys would like to try out Beacon Book Box, it is also good on special edition boxes because like I said, they are stellar. And that is going to be it for this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video.